Today, I'm going to show you how to turn your pressure canner into a steam canner and not have to water bath anymore. Come join me. Good morning, hello and welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. I'm Stacey. Today, I thought I would show you how to steam can in your pressure canner, well, I've got a Presto, um, instead of water bath canning. Now, I don't know about you, but water bath canning takes a long time because you've basically got to fill up your pot um, to, you know, a couple of inches above the uh, cans that you are water bath canning. And it takes a long time and it's a waste of water. So um, I've done a lot of research and I um, see other people are slowly starting to do steam canning instead of water bath, instead of water bath canning. So um, I thought, well, I might show you a more comprehensive guide. Um, today I've already made up some pizza sauce and I used the Ball Home Preserving. I love this. Um, oh, Ball Complete Book of Home Preserving. Love this book. And I've used the pizza um, sauce recipe from that. So, yeah, I'm going to put on my apron and um, quickly jar up these this pizza sauce and then I will show you how I steam can. So the first thing I'm going to do is inspect my pressure canner lid, make sure that the gasket is still all intact and looking good and that um, everything is tight and also that I can see through the vent. Okay, so that looks really good. And then I'm going to put three quarts of water in the bottom of the canner. I've also got my little tray in the bottom. So three quarts. And I'm putting hot water to save heating it up. And now I'm just going to pop that on the heat because I've got hot sauce, hot jars that I've put through my dishwasher to be sanitised and to be hot and um, start heating this up so everything's about the same temp. So I've got five in the bottom and two on the top as you can see and um, that's just starting to heat up the water in the bottom and then we're going to pop the lid on as normal. Um, you don't need to use vinegar in the water because the jars aren't submerged, that there's a small amount of water on the bottom of the lower level jars, but they're not submerged, so you don't get that murkiness that you get when you um, water bath. So now all we have to do is wait for the steam to um, build up in this pot. So what we're waiting for is for this to pop up and then you will be getting a steady stream through this steam vent um, so it'll take a little bit and um, oh, I'll come back and show you when that's ready. Other things that I've done while I'm waiting is I've got my little mat down on the bench where I'm going to put the jars um, once they come out of the, the canner and they will stay there for 24 hours. 
um, so it's just the same as, as normal water bath or pressure canning. Um, I have closed my window so that there's no cool breezes coming through um, and so yeah it's just a, a case of um, letting this um, start to warm up and um, I'll bring you back when it's done. I can already hear that that's boiling and that's literally probably not even been, I've washed the pot and um, all the other little bits and pieces so it wouldn't even be five minutes. I'd probably say three to four minutes and I can already hear that boiling down the bottom. So you can see how it's so much faster to steam can rather than water bath can. And the thing is, is that it's doing the same job, it's still making the product safe, you're just doing, it's just a different method basically. Um, you water bath, uh, you steam can the same amount that you would water bath. So these are 500 mil or I think pint. Um, is the other equivalent and so they will steam can for 35 minutes the only thing with steam canning is you cannot steam can longer than 45 minutes because um, you you run the risk of running out of water but you can see the steady stream of um, steam already and it's it's been probably five minutes it's so super quick So we're just waiting for this to pop up. There we go. Okay, so we're not going to take any notice of the dial and we're not going to put a little jiggler on there at all. Okay, so we have got very steady strain. I'm now just going to turn the element down so it's not so vigorous. So I've turned that down to a level that I, I normally do. If, if your little um, top valve here pops down, you have to restart the process. So just keep a steady stream. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. Keep a steady stream. But as I said, turn it down so that it's not, if you can hear the difference. And we'll start the timer for 35 minutes. So I've turned that down. In here the water isn't quite boiling as vigorously as it was. But I still have that steady stream. And this is still up. Because you don't want to boil it a dry. Okay, that's 35 minutes. You can hear, still got the steam. And you can still hear boiling water in the bottom. Let's turn this off. You can hear it coming down. So now what we're going to wait for is the top, the little steam top thing to pop down and I just let, leave it for a good 10 minutes just to sort of settle down and then what I will do is just turn the lid I won't take it off, I'll just turn it so that it's letting a little bit of, you know, cool come in and a little steam out. And then um, I will take the lid off after another five minutes. So, can you hear that's coming right down? I'm going to wait for that to pop down before it's safe. But like I said, I'm going to give it 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. Now I'm just going to. Twist it and lift it just, just a tad, just slightly, so there's a slight crack and I'm going to give it another five minutes. Okay, now I'm taking the lid off, always take it away from you so you don't get steam in the face. Beautiful colour. Still plenty enough water in there for 35 minutes. After a 35 minute boil I should say. 
So pretty. Ooh, hot. All right. All right, and that's done and dusted. So quick and easy. Now I've got um, one, two, six, seven pints of um, pizza sauce on the shelf as well. So yeah, doing well, getting getting some canning done in this in the winter months is good. I need to make some jam, um, some berry jam. I've got no berry jam and hubby wanted some for a bread and butter pudding. So I'm going to make um, some of that. I might make that now actually. And um, you enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for joining me again and um, would really love it if you would um, give me a like and subscribe and that will help me out greatly. So thanks for joining me and see you next time. Bye.